It's currently later than I should have gotten to the venue. But when you're cooking and you're shooting, time flies, so it's okay. And when you arrive at a place with food, everybody forgives you. So, <laughs> so what's happening today? We are having a YouTube Black Class of 2023 Kenya meeting. In case you missed that video where I announced that I was part of the YouTube Black Class of 2023, I'll link it down below for you to catch up. But um, we are basically having our first physical meeting, which is a bit of a potluck. And since I'm a foodie in the group, I have to go with some food. So I've been spending most of the day cooking. My menu items are four. I have braised short ribs. I have um, drip and cucumber salad. I have potatoes in Parmesan cheese and bacon. And finally, I'm going to take a cake because what is a party without a cake, guys? What is a party without a cake? And we just decided that it was time for us to meet again. The last time we were together, we were in South Africa, Cape Town. Again, if you haven't watched that vlog, check out the link in the description so that you can be able to catch up. So I will be sharing with you guys the recipes of two of the main dishes I'm going to carry today, the braised ribs and the cake yes so that's what you're going to be seeing in this video and then i'll also introduce you guys to the members of the class that are going to be at the potluck and um yeah the main focus of this video is going to be the recipes because i'm your recipe girl it's me guys it's me i give you recipes you use them and then everybody in your house is happy stay tuned as i take you through the recipes and as you meet my classmates in the youtube 2023 class and um yes Starting off with my braised short ribs recipe, I decided to go with this because it's a low maintenance recipe, it's amazing to feed a crowd and if you get it right, trust me, everybody is going to be singing your name at that table. This is a super easy recipe. Get your short ribs, season them with some black pepper and some salt and then you're going to brown them on both sides until they're nice and brown. This chai is going to give them an extra pop of flavor so don't skip this part. Just make sure each of the ribs is nice and brown on each side before we get to the cooking. As that is happening, prepare your vegetables. I'm going in with two large purple onions. You can also use white onions. Also going in with some carrots and some celery. You can use your favorite vegetables, but for me, this is what works and this is what I would highly recommend. Once your veggies are chopped and ready, we're going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm using one whole bulb of garlic. You can never get enough garlic. I'm also going to be using some bay leaves, some thyme, some rosemary. And then we're going to be making some beef broth. I'm using two beef cubes, mixing them with about two cups of hot water to make my beef broth. <laughs> Once you're done browning your short ribs, set them aside. And then now we're going to go to the next step where we'll be using the pressure cooker. If you have, a, what's it called? A nutri cook, a slow cooker, this is where you'd go to that part. Or you can also put it in the oven for about three to four hours. But today I'll be trying out my pressure cooker. It smells so nice already. But remember your meat is not cooked at all. Bad eye driver, uskule, uskule my friend, don't eat this meat. <laughs> Today I'm going to be using my pressure cooker so I'll add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil to my pressure cooker and then I'll add my medley of veggies so my carrots, my celery and my onions. Let this cook until they're nice and soft. Amazing, nice, nice, amazing. Nice. You know all my life I always thought a pressure cooker was a waste of money. But since I got one, I just, I can't stop using it. Once your veggies are nice and soft, add in 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Mix that in nicely, add in one heap tablespoon of tomato paste. Mix that in as well and then you're going to go in with lots and lots of water, about four cups of water. Here I'm using my beef broth. I would highly recommend for you to use either some chicken or some beef broth. If you don't have any at hand, as I had mentioned before, you can make some using some beef cubes. One beef cube, two cups of hot water. Add your browned short ribs back in. Mix that up and then we're going to add in our spices, our oregano, our thyme, 
our rosemary some salt make sure this is nice and seasoned our garlic and then we're going to close this up and pressure cook this for two to three hours depending on how much time you have if you don't have a pressure cooker as mentioned you can put this in the oven for three to four hours at 180 degrees celsius and keep checking on it so that the meat does not burn After many, 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 many hours, your meat will be full of the bone. So you can take your meat out and serve it as it is. Just make sure you taste so that you see the seasoning is on point. If it needs more chili, if it needs more salt. And you can serve this like this, especially if it's for big crowds. However, I do like to reduce the broth a bit more when I'm doing it for smaller portions. And how you do this is you take out all the meat and then you'll add two tablespoons of corn flour in some water mix that up into a roux and pour it into the broth give this about five to eight minutes and it will continue to thicken up and darken up and once it's nice and thick add your meat back in let it simmer for a few minutes and serve it over some mashed potatoes this is my favorite favorite way to enjoy braised beef ribs they are so good they're so tender they just fall off the bone I would really really urge you to try this recipe because <clears throat> everybody in your house is going to be impressed i also made some potatoes i seasoned them with some paprika some salt some black pepper some oil and i baked this for about 30 to 40 minutes unfortunately i was running out of time guys filming and cooking at the same time is not that easy and i didn't want to be late so i didn't film the potatoes but this is how they ended up and as you can see those are the beef short ribs sitting right there they look so yummy so delicious oh my god this was the rest of the spread so i want to introduce you to the rest of the crew i'll start with our gracious gracious host who made the rest of this platter look at this amazing amazing platter of food so let me introduce you to the crew we'll start off with our gracious host Susie. um her channel is called suzy homestead and she shares everything about super motherhood she's an amazing cook and you should really follow her recipe if you want to learn more about food how to batch cook how to meal prep how to just run a household like a super human i would highly recommend for you to check out this channel here susie was teaching momo how to cook and momo is our money guy he's actually in the class of 2021 but he decided to hold our hands and just help us navigate this class and we're super super grateful for him so if you need to learn about bitcoin about money about business about investment about scaling up all those things i would highly recommend for you to follow this channel i learn so much from it before i can introduce you to the rest of the crew let's just look at this whole spread guys there was chapati there was rice there was pork meatballs another salad let me tell you susie went out i went out and it made this whole meeting amazing you know when the food is good everybody's happy and that's what we are here for so um check out susie's page for the recipe of the meals that she made on the day and be sure to follow that braised rib recipe because trust me guys trust me if you're trying to impress somebody your family your man's your woman's trust me this is a recipe for you and now i can introduce you to the rest of the crew here we have a one girl who is an amazing amazing african activist she talks about the power in unity about how amazing our continent is so do check out her channel so that you can learn more about the positive side of our continent africa as you can see she's um interviewing us on some really important issues and over here it's agatha and sebastian i'll talk about agatha who is an amazing amazing interior designer she actually did susie's um kitchen and here's a kitchen look at her work guys gorgeous right she did an amazing job oh yeah oh yeah thank you so much everybody you need this girl Agatha mm. interiors oh, yes. to do your home. Kane, we are doing your kitchen next. Yes, Thanks, please. Yes. I'm in there. I'm in there. <laughs> we need her. Then we have Seb, aka the Kenyan entrepreneur wealth of knowledge where entertainment meets learning. I would urge you to follow this page if you need to learn more about entrepreneurship. 
and all other things in between as you can see he was also interviewing us on some really important issues then if we move on we can see our gorgeous jojo diy with jojo who is the queen of diy from her house to cars to anything in between she has such a brilliant mind she just does everything herself i would urge you to follow her page if you need to learn how to do things yourself including revamping cards guys imagine that and then finally there's me the food girl <laughs> um in case you haven't met me you should maybe watch other videos on my channel and learn how to cook better because i guarantee you when you leave my channel you're going to live with a lot of spice and a lot of flavor unfortunately not everybody from the class was able to make it to our first meetup but i really hope they'll be there in the next one i will however link all the channels in the description box everybody in this class is absolutely brilliant their content is over the top guys so i would urge you guys to check them out you'll definitely learn something it will improve the quality of your life for the rest of the evening continue to enjoy and make merry and remember when i say there's no party with no cake i had to bring the cake this was a chocolate and raspberry cake and it was mwah, chef's kiss i have shared the whole recipe on my channel so do subscribe so that you don't miss out on that recipe check out my description box i do hope you enjoyed that video i do hope you try out the braised pork ribs recipe and if you do let me know how you liked it give me your feedback if you haven't done it yet don't forget to like this video share it with someone who enjoys cooking or to get someone to start enjoying cooking subscribe so that you don't miss out on some epic recipes and i'll see you guys on the next recipe